Hi guys and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to program MIDI in Pro Tools. Uh, today we're going to use the pencil tool to do this up here uh, and we're going to program directly on the track and the next week we'll have a look at the MIDI editor and some other functions. Okay so to get started we're simply just going to click on the track and then the track will jump into notes view and now we can then addition the, the sounds that we have on the side here and I don't have any sounds on this octave so in order to scroll down to the octave that I have sounds I'll simply hold down the power claw boink like that and then you scroll down and there we go and I've got one sound here boom kick drum snare drum hi-hat okay uh, so we're gonna start with the kick drum and we're gonna do a four to the floor thingy so I'm gonna go and change the grid I'm gonna go in grid mode and I'm gonna change this to quarter notes, boom, like that. Then I'm gonna go and change my pencil tool to line. And now we have one bar here, let's zoom a little bit. So go one bar there, one, two, three, four, and then basically on the same note, I'll just drag it. Now I got myself a fourth floor. Fantastic, snare drum, oops, wrong place. Snare drum, and there we go. And then for my hi-hat, I'd like to have an eighth note, so I'll simply go up to eighth note. That's where my hi-hat is, and then just drag. Oops, and there we go. I got myself a beat. Uh, now if I want to duplicate and do stuff with this, of course, there are some other functions which you can enable by holding down the modify keys. So for instance, if I, with the pencil tool, uh, you can see I can point and click and drag it like this, but, if I now, let's see if I can undo that. If I hold down the old key, it'll turn into a eraser, so I can erase things like this if I want to do that. I'll do that. That was the grid. And if I hold down, see lots of lots of things happening here. If I hold down the control key, I can lasso, select like this. And if I hold down the command key, sorry, alt key outside of the eraser, so I'm outside of the, the note, then I can just drag across like this and select that way. Cool. Uh, so one of the things also that we need to get our heads around when we're working with MIDI editing is this button up here, which is Link Timeline and Edit Selection. That's like it says there. Now, what Link Timeline and Edit Selection allows you to do when you're working with MIDI is to make sure that the pattern is always playing back the same pattern that you're, you're working on. Because quite often what you want to do is work on an individual note rather than the whole thing. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold down the control key and then just click anywhere to deselect all my notes. And then let's say that this note is the one that I want to work on. So I'm going to switch over to slip mode. Sorry, that was shuffle. Slip mode. And then just going to do some that. Here we go back to grid mode. But now when I play this, it's gonna play from this position and that's probably not what I want. So what I probably want is to hear the whole beat. So in this case, I'm gonna make a selection for what I wanna do in grid mode. So it kind of scrolls to one more. And then I'm gonna turn off time and edit selection. So now if I do the same thing, go in and edit something, control, so you get the lasso tool and it's gonna to click anywhere. So let's say I wanna, get rid of these so and then now it'll just play the whole thing so i can go on it in this one and still play the whole thing and then once i'm done with my midi editing i can just turn this on again uh to return so i can now because i've got my beat and i'm going to copy or duplicate it to return it i'll just press the minus key on the convert to keyboard and now i've got my clips there and then we can jump back to smart tool or grab a tool or whatever it was we want to do. Command D to duplicate, boom, 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 boom. And we got tons and tons and tons of drums. Brilliant. Thank you. 